morning folks and welcome to another episode and welcome to the fabulous Maxus eDeliver 3. We've been loaned it for a week so we'll be putting it through its paces and showing you what it's like for range, low carrying capacity and what it's like to live with in general. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. For the share there, I've got an hour and a half to go, 68 miles. On the dashboard, 99% state of charge and an available range of 142 miles. After that, it's going to lower stuffed, so that's a good trek. So hopefully it's going to prove to be quite a good van. Okay, that's me at my first destination. I've just plugged in. You can see there I've done 67.4 and I've got 84 miles remaining. You can see it's charging. And if I flick through to my state of charge, you should be able to see I'm on 58% and that is what I arrive with. All right, let me give you a little look around the van and please don't judge me because I've literally took everything from the EMV and thrown it across the floor. So it's filled the floor, but normally this is in racking. Uh, the first thing is, if you look this side, you, you, we've only got one side loading door um, and that's okay, that's good uh, because I can use that space but on the flip side of it, it, it minimises your access so I'll let you know later on in the week how I'm getting on with that. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to bug me or if I'll be able to live with it okay. So that's what it looks like, huge space. I mean you could easily chuck a motorbike in there um, and it feels like it's set up to carry so much more weight. Um, anyway, I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so I've been here for quite a while now. I've actually managed to get back up to 89% state of charge, which is good. Uh, this is the leaf that I've just serviced. It's had a major service. Um, it's uh, all the brakes stripped. I put a set of strut top covers on because it's never had any and all the strut tops were all rusted. So we supplied those and it's had a set of bottom arms as well. But apart from that, uh, it's, it's pretty much good to go. So MOT in two weeks. Anyway, from here, I'm going to lower stuffed. I think that's about probably another 100 miles. So I'll see you there. Okay, folks, so I'm here. I'm in lower stuffed. Now, I've actually done this a little bit late. Um, I've been on charge the whole time I've been here. I've already finished the Model 3, which is there. That's already been serviced. So now I, I'm at 34%. I'm going to unplug in a few minutes uh, and then I need to get myself home. As you can see there, so far I've done 179.3 miles. Uh, so I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere around that on the way back. So probably looking at about 360 miles all said for the day. So it's going to be a little bit of a late finish because it's now four o'clock. So I don't expect to be home any time before eight, half eight. All right, let's see how it gets on. Okay, folks, so I'm on charge. Um, and I've got a little bit of a niggle. At the moment, that's putting in 21.4 kilowatts, which is pretty, pretty shocking considering the size of the battery. This is well under what my EMV200 can do. Now that for me is quite an issue because we've got a lot of miles to cover, uh, moving from job to job and trying to get home again. So when we get onto a rapid charger, we really want to be pulling as close to 50 as we can. I've had a few Instavolt 50s where I've actually drawn 52 kilowatts and an Osprey where I've drawn 51 off it. So this wouldn't even make use of, of half its capacity, which is really, really very frustrating because so far it's been a very, very good van. I'm really impressed by it, but this would stop me having it without a shadow of a doubt. I can't, I can't manage with, with 61 amps. That's just not good enough. So I'll let you know how it goes on and uh, I'll probably see you when I get home. Okay, folks, so that leg there was, I think, from 179 miles to 304. So, what, 126, 5, I think, 125 miles. But, uh, with 4%, we're now up to 5. Um, and this is the thing. I've just had a right whinge about the Genie Point not charging properly. Um, and now, if I look... Now, if I look just there, you might not be able to see it, but it's actually charging at 40.8 kilowatts, which is substantially quicker than what it was doing earlier. So, hmm. I'm at McDonald's in Kettering, uh, so I'm going to stay here just to get myself enough to get home. I'm only about, oh, what, 45 minutes from here. So, yeah, quick stop off, go and get a coffee, and then on my way home. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. 
Morning folks, and today is Tuesday. Currently at 99% state of charge, and yesterday we did 344 miles in total. So that's good. Today we're heading to Pudsey, which is 116 miles. We've got a Tesla Model 3 to start off with. So I will see you there. Okay, quick update folks. I've got 48% remaining, uh, 25 miles to go, and We've done 431.7 miles so far, so pretty good. Okay folks, that's us done on that one. Uh, 69 plate Model 3, apart from two tyres getting near the limit and the headlights uh, alignment being way out, uh, that's done. So we're back up to 49% now, I did charge here, which was nice. So far this week we've done 457.3 miles. So the van's doing well. Um, and I'm going to a place called Backup, which is just north of Manchester, roughly 40 miles away. So I'll see you there. Alrighty, I am running a little bit ahead. So I thought I'd um, scoot over to an Instavolt charger because uh, I've had good charging speeds off these. So I'm plugged into this one here. However, you might be able to see a small issue there. 1.95 kilowatt hours in five minutes. That is atrocious. Um, so I've been getting really hit and miss charging speeds. If I show you the current now, I'm drawing 48 amps, which is about 20 kilowatts at the current voltage, maybe 21, which is bad. It keeps doing this thing where the charge rate goes up, it gets up to 100 and 510 amps and then drops down again it's really frustrating because you want your charging time to be as little as possible you don't want to block a charger because somebody else could be using it and, and charging quickly uh, so this is not a good thing in my opinion okay folks I'm in a place called a backup I think that's how you say it b-a-c-u-p um, and I'm on charge with that unit just there I've been on for about an hour and a half two hours that's got me to 94% state of charge. I've just serviced that Nissan EMV 200, major service, so all the brake strips, all that sort of business. Um, the brakes were in bad condition as they normally are on the EMVs, uh, but um, nothing that uh, lubrication hasn't sorted out, so that's good. I'm on my way home now, which is uh, 127 miles, gonna take three hours. Not going to get there till oh gone six the good news is i can do that in one hit so that's nice um by that point i think we would be on 630 miles so far for the week that's pretty good um so anyway guys i'll see you in the morning morning folks so i've got 142 miles 100 percent state of charge that's my first journey 105 miles is going to take me two hours and two minutes uh, i've got a renault zoe for a major service set of anti-roll bar drop links and a coolant change and so far we've traveled 631.3 miles so fans doing well it's only wednesday morning so it's probably going to be well over a thousand which is good so uh right i'll see you there okay folks well this isn't what i have planned out for today uh just to give you an update i've not managed to film anything i've done a renault zoe major service and two link pins uh two anti robot drop links and i've done a tesla model 3 service which i've just finished now i've just been a little bit pushed for time so i've not really had time to get my gopro out anyway give you a quick update i'm now on 777.8 miles and i've got 123 miles to get home uh, i'm gonna get home at about seven o'clock and I will need to charge on the way home. I've done one rapid charge so far, which was at Ikea in Warrington, um, and that's all I've done. So I've not charged apart from that. I've still got about 60%, 65%. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, folks. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning, folks. And today is Thursday. Uh, we are off down to Surrey. Uh, I've got 110 miles to go, that was previously 121 miles and I've got 91% state of charge, I was at 99% state of charge and I've covered 918.6 miles. So we're going to look at a Renault Zoe for a major service, brake fluid change and uh, something else which uh, I can't remember. 
So yeah, 110 miles to go. It's gonna take two hours, so I'll see you there. Hey folks, okay, so just here with this um, Renault Zoe. This is having a major service, so full brake strip. So this has been serviced by the main dealer uh, since we've come to start servicing it. Uh, and I've noticed just things like, there's no lubrication on any of the latches and things like that, so. And the pollen filter hadn't been changed either, so. Anyway, I'm not gonna whinge about that, to show you the van, absolutely the worst mess you could ever see in the back of a van but just the way it is why we work with them for a week to show you where we're up to We've got 31 miles remaining 21 percent so that really that that is about right 30, 31 miles 30 miles for about 20 percent is about right um we traveled 123 miles here there's nowhere for me to charge which is fine uh it's it's more convenient if I can charge at people's houses, but I'm really surprised at the amount of people who run electric cars who don't have home chargers. So this guy's getting on with it and doing it. So uh, it will mean I have to stop at a rapid. Uh, I've got another job down the road, which is about 25 miles away. So I'm going to need a top up somewhere, but it's all good. So yeah, uh, just going to finish this off. It's going to take me about um, another 45 minutes uh, to do the other side, check the bottom arms and drop links and stuff like that and then we'll be up the road. So, right, I'll see you in my next job. Nice charging speed there, 51 kilowatts. So it wasn't doing this to start with though, it was down to about uh, 37, and then all of a sudden it just flicked up and we're at 51 kilowatts and it's maintained that for a good 10 minutes now. So good charging speeds. Quick top up here, uh, it's gonna take me into the center of London. Okay folks, so um, it's a bit dark, so I can't really show you a lot, but I've just fitted a power uh, frunk to that Model S. Uh, that's done, just uh, said goodbye to the guy, guy's gone back in his house. This is my distance home. I'm in central London, so not amazing. Uh, probably gonna get home for about eight o'clock, I'd say, I guess. So far, the van's done 1,056.1 miles, and we have 103 miles remaining. I'll stop at Rugby and get a quick top up. With all the quibbles and, and bits and bobs about it that I don't like, I've actually phoned the guy and asked him to price one up for us, so uh, possibly even this vehicle. Uh, it's actually been quite good. Charging speeds aside, because we've had a few issues, um, I've actually managed to do 54 kilowatts on a uh, MFG unit, 150 kilowatt unit today. Um, and it's very comfortable and the range is really good. So yeah, I think this might be another vehicle for us, but we'll see, we'll see. Things might change. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Take care. Morning, folks. Today is Friday. It's my last day with the E-Deliver 3, uh, and it's a long day. So it's now half six in the morning, uh, and we have got a journey of 154 miles to go. A uh, place called Crowborough, Crowborough, Crowborough in um, East Sussex. Uh, I've got two easy jobs today, two minor services, which is nice, but I've also got a Tesla door handle to do on the way back up, which I'm gonna meet the guy at uh, like Dartford area. So yeah, 99% state of charge, 154 miles, right on the limit of this van's range. This is pretty much what it will do at a maximum in good conditions, so. I'm going to drive it nicely and just see what I can get out of it and hopefully, fingers crossed, all will go well. So, right guys, I'll see you in Crowborough or somewhere near there. Uh, let you know I'm getting on. I am here in Crowborough, I think, or somewhere near Crowborough. 155 miles done. 
and I got here with 20 miles remaining. It's gone up a little bit because it's on charge at the moment. And I think 15%, if I just flick through, 15% state of charge. So that is very, very good. I'm really surprised because the range of this, most people say is about 140 to 150. This would have given me 175 miles range and around the M25, it was 70 miles an hour where I could. So yeah, quite, uh, quite impressed by this. It's doing really, really well. I've got a uh, Volkswagen E up. You might be able to just see it over there. That's in for a minor service. So I'll be here for about an hour and 15 minutes. And then... So that minor service actually turned into a major service, uh, rotated the wheels, uh, cleaned up all the brakes, new pollen filter, uh, because it's not had a new pollen filter, even though it said it has, uh, which is quite common. Um, so that's all done. I, t I have topped up. I'm on 38% now. Um, if you look there, though, look, we've done 1,347.8 miles since Monday, which is excellent. And that is how far we're going to our second job. 12.7 miles is going to take 25 minutes. I'm due there at two, uh, but I'm going to be there at quarter to two, uh, quarter to one, I beg your pardon. Uh, and the gentleman's not there anyway, so I'll be on my own for this one. All right, folks, this is my last job of the week with the uh, Maxus. Uh, just done this Skoda City Go here, but look where I am. This is beautiful. There's deer been running up and down over there, hares and all sorts of other wildlife. And yeah, it's just really nice in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I hear a lot of people saying to me, oh, you don't need to service an EV. You don't need to service an EV. And this was only a minor service. However, 20,000 miles, near side front wheel bearing now playing it found the nut loose on the end of the drive shaft 20,000 miles and that's why you need to have your car serviced because yes it's an EV maintenance is minimal but you cannot account for things like that I don't know whether it's come out of the factory like that because the guy's had it from brand new or whether it's had something done in the past and somebody's not tightened it up properly but that near side front nut was loose and there was a lot of play in the near side front wheel bearing so that's done anyway let's bring you around to the van so see i'm just charging away there um i've been on for about an hour and a half now but look, i've got 72 miles range so that's okay so next job tesla door handle dartford so i'll see you there okay that is the end of my week with the e deliver 3 and i just wanted to summarize on a few points first of all i'll just give you the uh, mileage we've done we've done 1518.6 miles and currently I have 97 miles of range left and we're at ooh, and we're at 68% state of charge so I just want to touch on the bad points first or I say bad points things that I'm not really a fan of uh, I think is a better way to describe it okay so the DAB stereo it's got a DAB stereo but it's not great some of the time today it's been on for six or seven hours and it's been faultless other times it's pretty poor uh, not bad enough to make me resent the vehicle that much the head unit which is touchscreen has no apple carplay it does now this is a 70 plate the newer version does have apple carplay so if you're getting one of those forget about this but this particular one doesn't and i feel like that's just something that you could not leave off a vehicle nowadays if you're bringing a vehicle out in this day and age it needs to have apple carplay in my opinion on to charging and it has a bit of a weird kind of behavior pattern that i've noticed i don't know if it's just this van but i will plug in and it will go to 47 kilowatts and then it will get to 15 20 percent then it will drop down to 20 for about 10 percent then it will go back up again then it will drop and go back up and there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason on what charger that I use. So I could be on a, a Instavolt, uh, a, a tritium unit, an old one, or I could be on a, a Genie Point or a, or a grid serve, and it will do the same thing. So it's definitely something to do with this vehicle, but I'm hoping it's just this particular van. Okay, the heater. And I've touched on this on a previous video, but I've had 1500 miles to play with it. And you know what, it's okay most people will get in and go what you can't turn the heater on or, or the temperature or anything like that just turn it on stick it in eco 
and forget about it. And that is all I've done the whole week. I've not been too hot, I've not been too cold. It's just worked really, really well. I've had no misting up issues at all, not once. And it doesn't matter what EV I'm in, they all seem to mist up a little bit, or all cars do, but this, not once. Not a single bit of misting, which would have surprised me massively. Uh, the headlights. The headlights are halogen, not a fan of those. I prefer LED. I think from a safety perspective, they are much, much better and every vehicle should have LED headlights as standard. However, there's obviously a budget they've got to maintain. So we've got halogens, but we've got halogens in reflector headlights and they work okay, you know. They are not too bad. I, I've, I tend to find that if you stick halogens in projector headlights, they are naff. However, reflector headlights like this, they work okay. And these headlights are, are fine. I've had no dramas. Onto the handling, which is excellent. Uh, this drives like a really well-planted car. It's so good. It's There's no dramas with the weight in or with the weight out. And it, it feels like it's set up to carry a lot more weight. You can feel when you're going down the road and it's going over bumps. It's it's there. It's like, come on, I, you can put more in me. I feel like I could put a, a small car in the back, maybe a Nissan Leaf, and it would be okay with it. Uh, it is on leaf springs at the back. But you can see there's, I think there's three leafs per leaf spring so it looks like it's set up to carry uh, to carry a good good chunk of weight i think the payload is just over a ton maybe but way over what i need anyway the efficiency so this is what amazes me about this this has got a 52 and a half kilowatt hour battery in it and i can get the same efficiency that a guy in an audi e-tron an i-pace Arnic 5, Kia EV6, all them cars which aren't particularly efficient at 70. And that is genuine. At 70 miles an hour, this will do 3.3 to 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. I don't know how. It's huge. It's got a massive frontal area, but it just does. It does really, really very well. So 150 miles from a charge, I can do that with the heater on at proper speeds. If you want to go further, just knock it back to 65 and it will give you what you need. It's a very, very, very capable van. And comparing it to the EMV, well, you can't, the EMV is it's nowhere near it. Uh, the EMV is just not as good a van. There's no two ways about it. Uh, but maybe if you compared it to the Vivaro, yes, it's smaller but it's more efficient and it's not got such a dissimilar range. And this is being compared to a 75 kilowatt hour, not the smaller one, not the 50. The 75 kilowatt hour will go about the same distance as this. I think if you aim for 150 to 165, maybe 70 per charge from 100%, you won't go far wrong. Now, the reason I've been testing a lot of vans recently is because I need to find a replacement for our EMV. Uh, it's got Chadamo, the range isn't brilliant, and the battery thermal management is poor. So, of all of them that I've tested, this one is the best contender so far. It really is a very, very nice drive, very powerful, really good range, and the price. You can't knock it for the price. It's literally a frame stuck together with plastic panels and it works brilliantly it really does okay i'm going to leave it there folks i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've got to see the van working and you can get a representation of what it's really capable of uh, and we'll keep you updated on whether we buy one or not thanks for watching please remember to like share and subscribe and follow us on twitter at kate phantom and we'll see you again soon in another episode so bye for now